Hey, this is Amy with Flower Moxie, and we're doing a tutorial of how to do flowers on aisle chairs. So this is something that you can do in advance, which is super helpful, especially when you're DIYing your own flowers. And we're keeping it simple today. Basically, this is about one third or one fourth bunch of silver dollar eucalyptus, and I just have about three roses. Typically, when I do them for my weddings, I like to add in like snapdragons or stock with the roses, but you have to use something hardy like those and spray roses, carnations, those work well. So it's all about getting ahead of the game when you're doing your own flowers. So what I do, pretty easy. I basically am building a flat backed bridesmaid size bouquet. And you can make this two days before because it will be in water. So I layer in my greenery and I always like to use, like if I'm using eucalyptus, I like to put in some seeded eucalyptus, baby eucalyptus, but we're keeping it super simple today. And to me, it's all about the mechanics and how stable it is because men never seem to watch out for the flowers on the chairs. So I found, I found that tape and wiring it wasn't as structurally sound as doing zip ties, which if you watch any of my videos, you can tell it's my favorite thing and I can't do a wedding without them. So I would make these in advance and basically zip, slap a zip tie on it. because these can't be connected to the chairs until a few hours before the ceremony. So more than likely it will be a friend or family member doing this for you, so you wanna make sure that it's all kind of put together for them. And I like them to be a little bit shorter. So if your wedding is on a Saturday, you can essentially make these on Thursday and let them hang out like in a little vase or mason jar ready to go. And then on the wedding day, you will take it to a chair so it's zip tied together and we're gonna attach it to this chair. And I will take a second zip tie so I'll have two zip ties on it. And I like to align them that way when I put my ribbon over the zip ties can kind of make sure that it's covered. Cut my little tails off. So as you can see, it's really well supported and it's not going anywhere. And then I, this is about an inch and a half in width ribbon. And it's important just to be ready, have your zip ties ready, have all your ribbons pre-cut and ready to go. As you can see, this wasn't a timely endeavor. So you can tie a knot or a bow, whatever you'd like to do. I'm always in favor of knots because I can't seem to tie bows well. Okay, and so when someone sits down, you don't have to worry about it falling apart and you don't have to worry about it falling off. So again, you can layer in different types of greenery. You can keep it all greens. You can add in snapdragons, stock, carnations, roses, spray roses, um, and those would hold up really well for this situation. Thank you so much.